His name is Anthony Galey. He's a trained psychotherapist. And oh yeah, I should also mention he's rated by Successful Meetings Magazine as one of the most entertaining keynote speakers in the country. Since he's had rave reviews, speaking engagements in most of the five, Fortune 500s and other organizations around the world, I figured he's just the man that we need. And so it's my pleasure to announce the psychotherapist will see you now. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Galley. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Lamb. It is a real thrill to be here. Thank you so much for having me. You may or may not know it, but I have an exhibition booth down there. I got to chat with quite a few of you yesterday. One individual had a very interesting thing to say. He said, you know, I've been in the business 30 years. I went through the economic slump in the 70s, the dot-com crash, the 9-11 dip. He said, I know, I know that this is temporary. We're going to come out of this. I know it, but I have trouble feeling it. That feeling it part is your subconscious mind. That feeling it part is where that vision is. How do you get that feeling part? How do you get that information into your subconscious? I have an opportunity in my profession to meet a lot of successful people. I'm going to give five presentations this week to all different kinds of companies all across the country. I leave here, San Diego, this morning, and I fly to Dallas. I speak in Dallas tomorrow. And then I fly back to California, and I speak on Tuesday to, um, in Manhattan Beach. Then I fly from Manhattan Beach, I go out to Washington, D.C., and then I go off to Hawaii all in the same week. All totally different kinds of companies. And in those presentations that I speak to, like this, I get to meet some very successful people, very motivated, very driven, very dynamic individuals. Often if there's a banquet or something, they will sit me next to the president of the company. A lot of times they'll point out the high achievers. There's our number one producer. There's a salesperson of the year. That person over there, phenomenal manager. I get to meet people that are high achievers. And I got to tell you, these people don't write their goals down once a year and stick them in a drawer. These people are writing their goals down two or three times a year. These people are doing something every single day to kick up their motivation and their enthusiasm. All right, check this out. Get your goals down or a CD or a tape. It would take you about a half hour total to do this process. In other words, I strongly recommend you take the most salient points you got from this conference. You did get some very powerful information. I would make some bullet points. This was very pertinent to me. This is something I really need to do. I love this idea about integration, and I want to be a part of it. Jot it down on a piece of paper. Burn it to CD, make it a WAV file, take that CD and put it in the glove compartment of your car. How many hours a week do you all spend driving around in those vehicles? I mean, it's unbelievable, isn't it? How difficult would it be maybe once a day to take that little gold CD of yours, pop it in the machine, and hear in the background your own voice reminding you over and over again what your production numbers are, how many new brokers you want to generate, how you always want to ask for referrals. Over and over again droning in the background. Now, if you actually did that, heard that tape once a day, every day for two or three weeks, I'll tell you what's going to happen. At the end of two, three weeks, you're going to end up with the same net psychological effect as television commercials. It's passive repetition. You made no effort to learn the commercials. But if you drive to work every day and you're listening to a radio program and they start playing those radio commercials over and over again, it doesn't take long. You pick up every nuance, every song, every word, every note, and you do it unconsciously. And clearly it works. Clearly it works or advertisers would not be spending billions of dollars a year doing it to your brain. I say, do it to yourself. I say, if you're going to get and stay motivated, you need some organized program to do that. Because writing your goals down once a year is not enough. Attending a conference for a few days and getting all pumped up is usually not enough. If you're truly going to motivate yourself for the long term, you need to be on what I call a motivational program. And one such program, is getting your goals down either on tape or CD and just have it droning in the background. I started interviewing some of these top achievers quite a few years ago, and I'd ask them a simple question. What do you do to keep yourself motivated? Why do you think you won that award? And what was interesting was the higher I went, the more successful they were, the better they were doing in business, the faster and more detailed the answer to that question came back at me. You know in your own team, 
The heavy hitters, the high performers, have got that drive, have got that focus. I'll tell you what I think they're doing. I believe they're hypnotizing themselves to be a success. I believe successful people are hypnotizing themselves to be a success. They don't call it that, of course. They don't say, you know, I practice self-hypnosis for five minutes every night before I go to bed. They usually don't say that. But if you listen to them, they're telling you what they do. They'll say, I started out 10 years ago, you know, didn't have much money, didn't have that much of an education, but I had a vision, I had a dream. I could see myself doing well in this business. I remember first day I went to work driving around that clunker of a car, but I used to cut out pictures of Mercedes. There's the Mercedes out in the driveway. There's the home I knew someday I'd be living in. I knew someday I'd be in that position in the firm or I'd own that company. They all started with a picture in the back of their mind. And like writing your goals down, they don't do it once. They don't sit there once and form this picture. Every day they're working on it. Right before they go to sleep, they spend a few minutes building that picture. Maybe right after they wake up in the morning, a few minutes during the day, they'll sit down. You see them. They're locked in thought. They are hypnotizing themselves. They have a very clear, very bright, very vivid picture, and they continually build on it. They are the visionaries in our culture. What they're really doing, I believe, is hypnotizing themselves. And I would like to demonstrate that to you. I'm sure some of you are wondering what these chairs are doing up here. If you have not already been told, well, in a few moments, I'm going to bring some of you up out of the audience and demonstrate this amazing power to visualize. 